السلام عليك يا أمير المؤمنين أحسن الله لك العزاء في قتل ولدك الحسين السلام عليك يا فاطمة الزهراء أحسن الله لك العزاء في قتل ولدك الحسين السلام عليك يا حسن المجتبى أحسن الله لك العداء في قتل أخيك الحسين السلام عليك يا صاحب العصر والأمر والزمان أحسن الله لك العداء في قتل جدك الحسين السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله الآخر الأهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين ورحمة الله وبركاته تشامع غريبان هزبقان أبا عبد الله's head was severed from his body His head was raised upon a spear. They turned towards the tents of Abba Abdullah and they began setting fire to each of the tents. The daughters of Ali and Zahra would run from one tent to another, from the second to the third, from the third to the fourth until all of them came inside the tent where Imam al-Sajjad was lying. Bibi Zainab wakes up Imam al-Sajjad and says, Sajjad, what do we do? Do we stay inside and burn alive or do we leave? Imam al-Sajjad salam says, Oh auntie, it is wajib upon you to save your life. The women and the children run out from the tent. The scenes that awaited them were looters coming at every point, attacking the daughters of Ali and Zahra and the children. The Maqatil narrates that there were a number of children that were killed at this point under the hooves of the horses. The Maqtal even says that at one point a child came out and a rider rode towards him. This boy was holding in his hand a small stick. Both his ears were pierced. The Maqatil describes this young boy 
as he steps out. They say that the rider rode towards him. He bent down and struck the boy with his sword, cutting the child in half. They say that the mother of the child stood, was standing there, shocked, unable to move, not knowing what to do. Other children were, were crushed under the hooves of the running horses. As the tents before the tents were set alight, they came and they began to loot everything from inside the tents. In one, at one point, they say that one man was looting and crying, was looting and crying. Say the Zainab looks at him and says, why do you loot us? And then at the same time, why do you cry? He says, I, I'm crying over your loneliness, that there's no one here that can help you. But I'm looting you because there's no way if I don't take this, someone else will come and take it. Such was the tragedy that occurred after the death of Abi Abdullah, that they set fire to the tents. Now Sayyid Zainab takes out the women from the tents. Hamid ibn Muslim narrates, he says, I saw a woman that was looking, running towards a burning tent as if she had left something valuable inside. He says that I watched her for a while as she picked up the courage and jumped through the flames into the burning tent. I was wondering what is it that this woman will bring out. She sa He says that a short while later I saw that she emerged again but this time there was a young man that was taking support on her. The night begins to set in. The daughters of Ali and Zahra are made to sit amongst the burning rubble of their tents. The night sets in, the night is dark in the desert of Karbala. Around them all they can hear is the sounds of jubilation and celebration from the army of Yazid. The daughters of Ali and Zahra are sitting in the darkness of Karbala. At one point say the Zainab begins to count the children says that where are all the children and they realize that the daughter of Abba Abdullah is not there. They begin to search. They go out towards the battlefield. As they're walking through the darkness they come across two, uh, two children holding on to each other. Say the Zainab and Um Kulthum go up to the children. Say, oh children, wake up. The moment they touch their bodies, they realize the bodies are cold. They turn them over and see that these children had been running away and were trampled under the hooves of the horses and killed, holding on to each other as they run away. They carry on walking. As they come towards the battleground they're calling out Sakina Sakina but there's no answer they come towards the pile of sticks and stones that is the body of Abba Abdullah there they find laying on a small area of the chest of Abi Abdullah is this four-year-old daughter they go towards her they wake her up they say to her Sakina, it's time to go. She says, no, aunt, I wish to stay with my father. They say, Sakina, how do you know that this is the body of your father? It doesn't have a head. She says that when I ran out, they'd stolen my earrings, my clothes were on fire. I ran out to the battlefield crying, Abba, Abata, Ya Abata, Father, where are you? Where are you? Says from this body a voice came, Hilaya, Hilaya, come to me, my child, come to me. So I came and laid here. This daughter of Abba Abdullah, her oppression begins from now. Her her clothes are burnt. At the time when the tents were burning, Hamid ibn Muslim narrates, he says that I saw a young girl running from the tents. Her clothes, her shirt was on fire. I went towards her and she said, oh man, please do not attack me. Please do not do anything. He says, no, I just want to extinguish the fire of your clothing. He says she allowed me. I put out the fire on her clothes. Then she looked to 
towards me and said, oh man, tell me which way is Najaf? He says, why is it that you want to go to Najaf? She says, because my father, my grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen is there. I'm going to go and complain that this is what they did to my father. This young girl, so much oppression she sees. As Hamid ibn Muslim narrates, he says, this young girl whose shawl, her shirt was on fire, her ears were bleeding. What is it that they did to her? They pulled her earrings from her ears. They pulled, they slapped this child of Abba Abdullah. They take Sakina back. They take Sakina back to where the children and the women were. She falls asleep a short while. The narration says at some point in the night, water was allowed to reach the Ahlul Bayt. Now when this water comes to them, say the Zainab wakes up Sakina, says Sakina, this water is for you drinking. Says, oh auntie, have you not drank? Says, no Sakina, the youngest must drink first. You are the youngest. As soon as she said this, this young daughter of Abi Abdullah picks up this, uh, this glass of water and she runs towards where the tents used to be. They call out to her, Sakina, where are you going? She turns around and says, Oh auntie, you yourself said the youngest must drink first. Oh auntie, my brother Ali Asghar did not receive any water. The head of Abba Abdullah that same night is taken from Karbala towards Kufa. It is entrusted with Khuli. Khuli Mal'oon, when he reaches Kufa, he realizes the palace of Ibn Ziyad is closed. So he takes the head of Abi Abdullah back to his home. As he enters his home, he places the head of Imam al Hussein within the tanur of his house, the oven, and he seals it. He goes and he lies in bed. His wife turns to him, says, Khuli, where have you been for so many days? He says to her, don't worry, I'll tell you some other time I'm tired. She turns to him and says, tell me. He says, I'm tired, let me sleep. A short while later, she wakes him up again with tears streaming down her face. She says, Khuli, tell me where you were. He says, why is it that you want to know? She says, Khuli, why is it every time I sleep, I see Zahra, the daughter of Rasulullah in my dreams. She keeps on saying, why is it that Khuli did what he did? Why is and why is it that he took from us that which he took? Says, Khuli, what is it? that you did? What is it that you took from uh, Zahra's children? He says to her that we were in Karbala. We fought against Hussein. We killed him. I brought his head back. She says, where is the head? Says, I've left it inside the tanur. Says, then Khuli, what is it that Zahra is saying that you took from them? He says, when the tents were burning, I saw a young girl coming out from the tents. Her clothing was on fire. I saw she was wearing two earrings in her ears and I wanted them for our daughter. She, I told her to take them off. I went towards her. She was young. She was afraid. Her hands were shaking. I was impatient. She was afraid. Her hands were shaking. I was impatient. She could not remove them. So instead of waiting, I went forward and I pulled the earrings from her ears. ألا لعلة الله على القوم الظالمين وسيعلم الذين ظلموا أي من قلب ينقلبون إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون